time of year when more and more people are going out for walks. Yeah, but sidewalks at the center of frustration and some controversy for some Toledoans. 13 ABC's Zane O'Meara is live to explain. Zane? Lee and Diane, last year the city of Toledo fixed 38,000 square feet worth of sidewalks. This year, they're hoping to fix 186,000 square feet. I know their intentions are good, but sometimes there's a discrepancy between intention and action. Sidewalks are stirring up some controversy in Toledo. Toledo City Council passing its 2023 sidewalk program, which funds sidewalk repairs. The measure more than doubling last year's budget from 750,000 to $2.1 million. We're gonna be getting a lot more done uh, than we have in the past, and we're doing it a lot more cost effectively. With the increase in budget also comes some changes. Uh, we're no longer going to um, be completely complaint driven. Um, we're going to areas where we know uh, we have um, a, a significant portion of bad walk um, of, of the walk in that area. We're going to be doing um, roughly a split based upon the percentage of walk in each district. However, some residents aren't happy with one stipulation. The public tree damages the public sidewalk, um, then it is the homeowner's responsibility to repair that. Up until this point, the city had paid for damage done by the city owned trees. Some residents say it isn't fair for them to have to foot the bill when the damage isn't their fault. It's the city's tree, they should be responsible for it. I, property owners have enough to do taking care of their own trees that don't belong to the city. An amendment to remove the clause was proposed by Councilwoman Teresa Morris, but it ultimately failed. I, I just felt like I needed to put something forward for my constituents to, to have them have a seat at the table and, and to, you know, see if there's a different way to do this. And while some may not be happy, Stephen says the program is meant to help, not hurt. Our real goal is to make our community walkable and safe. And, you know, at this point, we, we believe that to do that into the future, that we have to have a sustainable program that makes a significant amount of impact. Stevens tells me there is help available for residents who can't afford to fix their sidewalks, such as grants. I'll have a link posted on our website, 13abc.com. Reporting live, Zane O'Mara, 13ABC, Action News.